What have I told you? There's a billion dollar floating city with its own airport, nuclear power plant, tech hub, gym, and it moves. No, it's not science fiction. It's the USS Gerald R. Ford, the most advanced aircraft carrier ever built. But what makes this floating fortress worth over $13 billion? Why did it take more than a decade to build? And how is this ship more high-tech than some small countries? Let's dive in. USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 is an aircraft carrier of the United States Navy and the lead ship of her class. Commissioned in 2017, but reaching full deployment capability only in 2022 to 2023, the Gerald R. Ford is the lead ship of a new class of supercarriers designed to dominate the 21st century battle space. At 1,106 feet long, it's longer than three football fields end to end. It can house 75 aircraft. Its flight deck alone covers 4.5 acres. As of 2025, she's the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed. But it's what's inside that turns this ship from a marvel to a legend. Let's open the hatches. The Gerald R. Ford was brought to life in Newport News, Virginia, at Huntington Ingalls Industries, the only American shipyard capable of crafting nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. In this cavernous yard, the ship took shape over more than a decade, forged with precision, patriotism, and staggering amounts of money. Just how much? As of 2013, the construction cost around $13 billion, plus $4.7 billion in research and development costs. That makes her one of the most expensive war machines ever created, a 100,000-ton testament to the price of power. Why this name? It's no accident that this technological marvel bears the name Gerald R. Ford. The 38th President of the United States wasn't just a politician. He was a man forged by duty, discipline, and service. Long before stepping into the Oval Office, Ford served as a lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy during World War II, serving aboard the aircraft carrier USS Monterey, which earned 11 battle stars for its wartime service. In 2021, the USS Gerald R. Ford completed her first full ship shock trial, 87 nautical miles off the coast of Florida, to ensure that she can withstand battle conditions. 40,000 pounds of TNT were detonated underwater, measured as a 3.9 magnitude earthquake by USGS. Imagine a city that can move at 30 plus knots. That's the Ford. Replacing traditional steam catapults, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, will be used to launch all non-VTOL aircraft from the carrier. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirement to generate and store steam, freeing up considerable space below deck. Why does that matter? It's smoother, with less wear on the aircraft. It's faster, launching up to 25% more sorties per day. It's smarter, digitally controlled to adapt to different aircraft weights. And yes, it even works on future aircraft that haven't been invented yet. On the back end of the runway, the Advanced Arresting Gear AAG system ensures that aircraft land safely and swiftly. It's not just cables and brakes, it's a computer-controlled electromagnetic system that adjusts to each aircraft's speed and weight in real time. Pilots say it's like landing into a cushion of control. At the core of Gerald R. Ford lies a pair of A-1B nuclear reactors, the most powerful naval reactors ever built. Together, they generate three times the electricity of the Nimitz-class reactors, powerhouses capable of fueling her operations for more than 20 years without needing a single drop of fuel. Developed jointly by the U.S. and Germany, RAMs are radar-guided in fire and forget, meaning once launched, they autonomously chase their target, adjusting mid-flight like a heat-seeking predator. If rams are the sprinters, the evolved Sea Sparrow missiles are the wide receivers. These medium-range missiles are designed to engage supersonic, highly maneuverable threats, such as enemy fighters and cruise missiles. The threats don't just come from the sky. Beneath the ship's belly lurks a world of silent killers, torpedoes. 
The Ford is equipped with advanced sonar and acoustic decoys, designed to detect and deceive incoming underwater threats. If a torpedo is detected, the ship can deploy a towed decoy system, like the SLQ-25 Nixie, which emits sound signals to mimic the ship and lure the torpedo off course. It's a submarine's worst nightmare. The Ford is the first and only ship equipped with dual-band radar, DBR, a system so advanced that it can simultaneously scan for ballistic missiles, stealth aircraft, surface threats, and incoming sea-skimming cruise missiles. It can track thousands of objects at once across multiple frequencies, giving the ship a godlike awareness of its surroundings. One of the most talked about features was the advanced weapons elevators. These electromagnetic elevators carry bombs and missiles from deep inside the ship to the flight deck in seconds, protected within armored shafts. Though these elevators caused significant delays, they took over five years to become fully operational. They are now functioning at full capacity, and when they work, they're game-changing. Safer, faster, cleaner. In the age of warfare by Wi-Fi, cybersecurity is the invisible armor no ship can afford to sail without. Unlike her predecessors, Ford's computer systems are designed to isolate, reroute, and counteract digital threats in real time. While details on her full cyber defense suite are, understandably, kept behind classified doors, the Navy has confirmed that the Ford meets the Pentagon's newest standards for cyber resilience. Thanks to advanced automation, more innovative logistics systems, and more streamlined maintenance procedures, the Gerald R. Ford requires 600 fewer sailors than her predecessors. Over her expected 50-year lifespan, this reduction in crew size could save the Navy billions of dollars. With over 4,500 sailors and aircrew, the Ford is also a thriving community at sea. And unlike earlier carriers, it focuses on quality of life improvements. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the first U.S. aircraft carrier to completely eliminate urinals. All heads, the naval term for bathrooms, aboard the carrier are now gender neutral equipped solely with sit-down toilets in stalls. While this might seem like a minor footnote in a ship packed with over 100,000 tons of steel and bristling with warfighting capability, it represents a significant cultural shift. The move was made out of strategic foresight. The Navy's rationale? Flexibility and inclusivity. In a force where women now comprise around 20% of active duty sailors, and that number is rising, the ability to assign any sailor to any restroom without requiring redesigns is a game changer. Life aboard the Ford isn't the same grueling, crowded experience that sailors endured on old carriers. The result? Gone are the giant berthing rooms, packed with 80 metal bunks stacked like sardine cans. Instead, Ford offers redesigned sleeping quarters with smaller, quieter rooms, typically for just 20 sailors. Each space has been carefully thought through, with wider passageways for easier movement and better lighting. Efficient LED bulbs hum softly overhead, and the air conditioning hums with renewed power, a blessing during deployments in sweltering seas. There's even something more, USB ports. On a ship built to launch fighter jets at 150 miles per hour using electromagnetic catapults, the simple ability to charge a phone at your bedside is a small, meaningful revolution. So, what did we learn? The USS Gerald R. Ford is part transformer, part city, part space-age battleship, and 100% awesome. But if you think this is wild, wait until you see what's inside Air Force One, or how stealth bombers vanish like ghosts. Curious about the biggest US nuclear submarine, or the mystery of Area 51? Hit that next video and keep exploring the strange, the powerful, and the, wait, that's real? Right here on our channel.